Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Yes, it's possible to have Linux and Windows installed on the same PC. And why wouldn't you? I mean, if you want to play with Linux, uh, you could do it in, in a variety of ways. Uh, you could either install it. You could use a live CD or, or possibly a live uh, USB drive. Um, and that is basically having the entire operating system on either a disk or a, you know a flash drive and then booting off of it without it touching your, your hard drive and installing the operating system on the system. It's kind of temporary. Uh, then you could use something like VMware Fusion uh, to load uh, Linux into as a virtual machine. You can run that on Windows or, or Mac OS X. I've got a VMware coupon uh, if, if you want uh, for VMware Workstation or, well, any uh, version of VMware that you want. I've got coupons for just about every piece of software out there. Uh, of course, you don't need a coupon for Linux because it's open source. It doesn't cost you a thing. I wanted to show you a new option I just ran across that uh, is going to be incredibly convenient. And I think you're going to like this. Uh, if you have only used Windows and you've only heard of Linux to this point, you've never actually installed Linux or, or tried it, you may think about running Linux on top of Windows with this program called Portable Ubuntu. More information at portableubuntu.sf.net, SourceForge, open source. Portableubuntu.sourceforge.net. And what it does is it allows you to basically run Ubuntu as if you were in Ubuntu, but you're in Windows. See, look, that's, that's Windows XP. That's the uh, Luna interface. But this here, well, that's Ubuntu. And, and, and there's the uh, package manager, but it's, it's running on Windows. And, and there's the, the, the bar that usually runs at the top of the screen that looks like it's using the GNOME interface. Uh, yeah, um, this is Ubuntu on Windows. Yeah, look at that. You can even uh, browse the, the Ubuntu uh, file structure here, right here from within Windows. There's the file browser. And look at there. There's uh, bin, boot, CD ROM, dev, lib, home, mint, mount, <clears throat> opt, serve, sbin root, proc, so on and so forth. I mean, it's familiar to you if you're, you know, ever someone who uses Linux or Ubuntu. But if you don't want to install the operating system, you want to stay within Windows, well, then the easiest way for you to do it, to have Ubuntu within Windows, is Portable Ubuntu for Windows. PortableUbuntu.sf.net. I'm going to recommend this now. Uh, if you want to try Linux, you don't want to leave Windows. You can have the best of both worlds right there. So you can explore a different operating system or what it's like to be inside a different operating system while within another operating system. Won't cost you a thing. PortableUbuntu.sf.net. Now, if anybody else has got recommendations to make on software, whether it's open source, freeware, shareware, postcardware, donationware, whatever, where, you can find me. Where? Well, in your inbox, chris at perillo.com. And of course, you know, you can find uh, the rest of us at geeks.perillo.com. Uh, posting questions, answers, videos, blogs. We got our own profiles. A lot of things happening there. It's a vibrant community of geeks, much like the chat room, which is uh, yeah, usually uh, hopping, no matter the time of day or night, since it's a part of the live video and the video is going out over the net pretty much uh, all the time. And we're about to open up my. Uh, my phone line to uh, take live calls. So uh, if you were watching the video and part of the chat room, you could be participating. But you have to be there <clears throat> to participate. There, there is here. Where? Live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.